Brian Cash at Scoop News Group, and we're here at the Cisco Fed Forward Summit with Jim Smith, CTO of Ironbow Technologies. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. Great, Wyatt. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. Well, let me start by asking, how have agencies fared in the past year in their journey to digital transformation? You know, it's been a trying year for all of us, and uh, it's accelerated a lot of projects. I think it's, it's reprioritized uh, what projects people are working on. Uh, certainly security comes to mind as something that's uh, more and more important, uh, having identity, making sure that as these devices are everywhere, uh, you make sure who's coming in and what they're using those devices for. Uh, and it relies really still on your, your same infrastructure, right? Everything that's at the core that's going to make communication work, anything like that, it, uh, it still has to work. It has to work flawlessly. So uh, just basic blocking and tackling, having your infrastructure, your networking, things like that put in order uh, has really become paramount to uh, making sure things are continuing to work. Well, as a CTO, I'm curious to get your perspective. What emerging technologies are currently most poised to make a major impact on federal operations in the next couple of coming years? Sure, there's a number of them I think that will really be uh, impactful over the next few years. I mean, we've seen already uh, with this transition for so many workers outside of the uh, normal business, uh, it really has meant things like Cisco's UCM for government or host collaboration services for defense. Uh, things like that where you have a managed service and you can get out of the business as a customer of having to manage that and focus on what your mission is, I think those will become more and more critical. Uh, some of the aforementioned things like security, I think that's going to continue to be impactful. I mean, having really a true zero trust architecture is becoming more and more critical uh, to how people are getting their work done. And then we're going to see you know, more things like uh, software-defined networking, things we've been talking about for a long time. I still think that, uh, for example, SD-WAN in the uh, federal side is, is probably one of the more underutilized technologies that has really matured. And it's an enabler for all things like cloud, for being nimble, being able to support uh, edge technologies. All of that, I think, is going to be critical for the next few years. There's a pretty long list, but I would say that that's some of the ones that come to the top of mind. Well, next, I'm curious. How can a platform-centric or standardized view of IT enable agencies to be more effective in their mission support? Yeah, I mean, I think really it's about simplifying things. If you can standardize, um, that's always been the case. If I can standardize on a platform, I can focus on things that are becoming really, really critical for enabling a more efficient way for me to effectively go after my mission. So things like automation, like collaboration, being able to share information, and ultimately being able to drive true business intelligence and and artificial intelligence and those kinds of things. You have to have uh, things being able to share well together and having a standardized platform. It, it makes you not have to worry about that aspect of it. Simplifying that piece of it lets you really concentrate on the end users, the mission, and what problems you're trying to solve. So that's a, a big shift for folks to, to get to that standardized view. Hey, Lassie, Jim, um, how are federal agencies enabling their workforces to succeed in their missions from anywhere these days amid the COVID-19 pandemic? Sure, I mean, really it's about, we've pushed a lot of technology out to the edge, uh, making sure that they have the right devices in front of them, making sure they have the right connectivity, uh, making sure they have the right security so they can authenticate and get their work done, do the kinds of things they have to do. Uh, we're gonna see the edge be more and more important as we go forward. Uh, because you're going to want to be able to get some of your compute, you're going to be doing more data processing, more data collecting at the edge. And all of that means you're going to have to use some of the technologies I just talked about. So software-defined networking, SD-WAN, being able to uh, manage all of those things from a centralized region and be able to hands off, be able to manage them out in the field, out on the edge. Um, all of that really is, plays a critical role. And it's at the end of the day, it's about driving more intelligence and, and simplifying things across the board, make sure your end users are being able to be productive. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Jim Smith, thank you so much for uh, joining us today and sharing some of your insights uh, on technology and government. Great, thanks for having me, Wyatt.